Hello everybody. Sorry, this is going to be freehand on a phone. Um, but I just wanted to give you all a little bit of an update. But before I do that... Oh, excuse me, sorry. I've literally just been at home from work for the last 10 minutes and that's all. Um, yeah, so for anyone replaying this especially, I wanted to just explain what's happened now. Hiya, how you doing guys? So... First of all, let me apologise. I haven't been reading my private messages on Facebook. Let me apologise. I haven't been reading my private messages on Facebook. I know there's been a lot of support sent my way. Um, so I assure you I will read them all. I will read them all and I will thank you all for your support. And I know there's been people offering me things. Good evening, everyone. People have been offering me things left, right and centre. Now, I just want to make you aware that I've been home for 10 minutes. I haven't even really looked into the new Fatal Fangs video. Um, I'm hoping it worked OK. Um, I had a quick look at some brief comments, but not a lot. So hopefully that came out OK. Um, brief comments, but not a lot. So hopefully that came out OK. Um, but the update is this. So I haven't looked at anything. I haven't read my messages. I've come home to find a situation that I wanted to explain to you. So <laughs> I've come home from work and turned on the dreaded dead computer. About seven, eight seconds later, booted. Two more seconds later, logged in. Opened up a video, worked. Opened up my files, worked. Thought this is odd. Restarted the thing. Came back fine. So I'm not going to sit here and say that everything is definitely fixed. But by the looks of it, some sort of weird mechanical fairy has strolled in my, in my flat while I've been at work today. And it is out of the blue, working like a dream, exactly how it worked the day before yesterday or even yesterday morning before it died. Now, for those of you sat there thinking, well, why didn't you just restart it before? I did, I did about 30 to 40 times yesterday. Messed around with it, nothing was working. I even tried to do a system restore just to see if it would make take effect and that crashed the whole system. It couldn't even do the system restore. Um, it wouldn't do anything, nothing was playing by ball and nothing changed. The computer was still even on and crashed when I got in. I simply restarted it again and it worked. It just bloody worked and I have no idea what the hell is going on, but it worked. So I want to take this time to thank everybody that's messaged me, everybody that's offered me things. I can't believe you guys are offering me old towers and laptops and things. Are you mad? Are you mad? Honestly, like, thank you, but you are a crazy bunch of people to be offering some guy <laughs> so his computer who might have had a bit of a mopey moment all of this stuff so i just want to say thanks to you all and i will get back to all of you that have privately messaged me with thanks now let's not sit here with full hopes there's nothing to say this isn't going to happen again there's nothing to say i won't wake up tomorrow and it's busted right but i'm in a positive mood a really positive mood about this computer the fact that i've restarted it twice and it's still just booting up fine and everything's working fine, has confused me and excited me all at the same time. So <laughs> thanks for all your comments on the side as well, guys. And I kind of like didn't want to to uh, test fate by loading my live up on the PC. So that's why I'm freehand on my phone right now. Um... <laughs> Machine spirit. So yeah, a really big thank you to everyone. Um, there's not much more news I can say, really. It's bug myself, thank you. There's not much news I can say, really, but I've uh, moved into my studio now, guys. So this is a little bit creepy to do, but if you look here, it's a bed, right? Over there. Excuse the mess, by the way, because I'm still moving it around. Around that, it's a studio. That's the old backdrop. That's the back of it. Or where all the cupboards are. I now sleep here. And have a whopping great tally over there. It's pretty nifty, isn't it? So for those of you who didn't know, it's because me and my partner Danielle, we, we broke up like a, a while ago now, but we're still living happily as friends. But um, 
I just didn't have anywhere to sleep. And I've got a that, that sofa that I sit on is uh, really, it's actually a sofa bed, but it's the most uncomfortable sofa bed in the world. Best to open up the rum. I'd love to open up the rum, but I've got work again tomorrow. And uh, oh, it's been an emotional day. It's been, it has been an absolute emotional day. I couldn't concentrate at work. And like, yeah, I, I feared a lot for my channel. I'm not going to get you, not going to lie about that. But at the same time, I was sat there thinking there's 64 contestants. God knows how many viewers that are relying on this tournament for your entertainment and your fun. Uh, and the fact that I could just completely have balls that up in a blink of an eye. Oh, my God. The, f the way that made me feel. Oh, it made me want to throw up. I swear. I only got about three hours, 45 minutes sleep last night as well before I had to go to work because I got straight back up again, back on that computer, still was having none of it this morning. Um, oh, thank you, Debbie. That's very kind of you. And it's kind of everyone, everyone, every thing that everyone's saying here. So I'm not reading them all. Um, it's a bit more awkward on my phone. I find it hard to, to keep on top of the comments. Go to sleep, yeah. I'll, I'll be too excited to sleep now, if I'm honest with you. I'm sorry I'm not keep looking at the camera. It's because it's in a really awkward place on my phone. But I'm too excited to sleep. I'm knackered, but I'm too excited to sleep. Hey, Adam, how are you doing? So is there anyone that's joined recently that doesn't know what I've said so far? What did you miss? Okay, yeah, so you did. Well, Adam, it appears the computer by magic is working again. Uh, just out of the blue, just decided I'm going to boot now. And I've restarted it a couple of times and uh, it's it's working. It's it's working. I just well, I don't know. I can't even explain. Post next week's today is a celebration gift. I don't actually have them all. I'm still... So what I do is I blend the clips together. I don't change the clips. I simply blend them together into one clip, which then gets sent to another admin, which will separate them to put on, like, the, um, the versus screens and the little animations at the end, and then that gets passed back to me. Um, but I haven't been able to blend them all yet because... Some of them were sent to me yesterday and then obviously the computer broke and there is one member of video four that is yet to pass me his clips, but he is a very busy man. So I can't blame him there. I just hope they come. I hope they come um, for everyone's sake. Um, oh, you're getting them. Yeah, they're, they're cool. You've got to, you won't get them stay that morph for the mcclays uh, I mean, it depends if they're adults if you get them as adults they'll stay that morph if you're getting them as over or as nymphs you've got to place enough of it excuse me in the enclosure that caught a mossy effect for them to hold that morph a lot of sellers sell them to people saying that they'll remain that way forever you can have a beautiful mossy effect uh mcclays which then will molt and become plain brown again. So you really have to be careful about setting up your, your enclosure right if they are nymphs. Peter's have a mind of their own, yes. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. So if you want to change your clip, um, please send them just as soon as possible. But to save me any confusion, either if you're sending them by, by uh, messenger, just write in there that this is for your round two just because there's so many people I'm dealing with, obviously 64 of you, or if it's by email, write, just write in the email that it's for your round two. Uh, uh, if everyone can just, if they're emailing them, just write your channel names as well. I mean, I know mm. your channel, obviously, um, but there's some, I sometimes get a bit confused by people's email addresses and what channel they are and their Facebook names by what channel they are. I get, it's with so many of you, like, I'd like to say that I can remember every single person. I remember the channels, but I can't always put the names to the channels um, and I get myself all confused. So if you could pass the clips as soon as you're able, pretty much, if you were a winner of previous rounds and just tell me it's for round two and your channel name. That's that's all I need. I can take them from as soon as you guys are ready.
think that might edge Tom. Well, that was a funny clip. That was an amusing clip. I haven't actually rewatched it because obviously I had so much drama with trying to get that up. And if you notice the original one that I put up was I then unlisted and because I, I got the finalised version up there. Um, but I have read somewhere that the, the, the quality wasn't as good, but I don't actually change any quality of clips. Every clip that I get is placed on how it comes. The only way it will ever get changed is if when, obviously when Reese is done, he put, uploads it for me as unlisted, I take it from him and taking it from YouTube, unless you pay, puts it in 720 instead of 1080p. Um, and I love you guys a lot, but I'm not willing to pay <laughs> to do that. So the only lower of quality will come from from that. But I don't actually change, and he doesn't either. No one actually changes. We might have to crop, but we'll never change the image itself of your clips, the, the, the visual quality. So, oh, thank you very much, guys. Really look more like it. I loved it. I loved it. I know that, but they do that though. They don't always hold on. So I, I don't own one, but I know I've seen it a few times where they'll attack, they will puncture, and then they will let go, and the prey item then just spazzes out or dies or whatever. Um, I, I've never owned one, but I, I liked it. I liked the effect that he had on it personally. I, obviously, it's quite mixed reviews there. Oh, so Adam's just said it. Yeah, biting him back off. Yeah. I thought that was the case, but obviously I've never owned one. But yeah, I like. I thought it was really cool, personally. It was. I've got kind of like a, a little soft spot for that clip, and I don't do the voting, so I'm not actually. I'm not going to vote for him because I've got a soft spot for it. But it was because he actually was the first clip I received out of everybody was Alan's clip. So having that as the original clip. That was ready to go on for Fatal Fangs. Like he was, he was eager. It was there, kind of like it's like ah, oh, I love that clip now. So there's a stick insect on my ceiling. I don't know how well you can see. Mm, probably not at all actually with this phone. Where is it? Oh, there's a tiny little. Oh, I can't, I can't angle my hand right. It's up there. They're always escaping on me. Oh, hi, hi everyone. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Edward. So just for anyone that's recently joined, I just want to let you know, it's not 100% definite that it will last, but the PC is working now out of the blue. So thanks. Just wanted to make this video to thank everyone for their support and private messages in regards to that. So just in case you'd missed the point of the video, I think we're all good to continue on. So sex planning murder, yeah, it's quite possible. Uh, I appreciate that, Edward. It seems to be fine. I mean, I'm going to have to, at some point, start getting bits ready for a new computer because if that's happened once, it may well happen again. I will not have the money for a long time, but I'm definitely going to start at least getting parts or something because I can't risk that happening again. The stress levels was unbelievable. And uh, it, for all we know, it's going to happen again in 10 minutes time, tomorrow, a month, a year. It doesn't matter when it is, when it happens, you know, that's that's going to be killer. I don't want to ever go through that again. So I'm definitely going to have to invest in getting one anyway, um, just in case this happens again. Um, wow, well, did I miss something here? Sorry, I'm going back a little bit, guys. Do you think my UK friend will need a heat map for a vinegarine? Depends. Uh, I always would recommend you just keep the room temperature up um, just because, I mean, I, I've never tried it with my vinegarine, but I'm presuming it, it could possibly cause a burns, especially if it burrows down and sits on the bottom of the tank. I mean, you could put one vertically sort of to the side, but not actually touching to give warmth. But as long as the room temperature is fine, if you're basically if you're not freezing cold, you, you're you comfortable in your own home. Uh, the vinegarine will probably be comfortable in your home, as far as I'm aware, but I've only ever actually owned one, and it's doing very well. So that's just my personal opinion on that matter. Uh, what did you miss? Oh, hang on, I'm missing some more yet. Back up to an external HD. Yeah, I, I can't find the cable for mine at the minute, but I am certainly going to do that. 
an update on the collection. I will do a collection update videos. Um, the only, I was going to do a full video tour. Sorry, my hair is a state. I was going to do a full video tour, but unfortunately, um, I had like a couple of deaths in the collection and um they kind of hit me a little bit hard so it wasn't that i was hiding it from you guys but some things that i keep kind of have a bit of meaning to me and i just wasn't ready to explain the situations with them but i, I will do i will do at some point i just didn't feel ready to go through that at the minute um edward you probably need one anyway the show must go on I don't have the money either, but I could do it. I appreciate it. I, I, I mean, I, 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 I couldn't believe that there's all these people talking about donations. This, this has been absolutely insane, and you know, I'm, I'm happy to just cover it completely on my own. It would just take a long time, but of course, if anyone were to, it would purely go for that reason. I'm not going to go spending it on my rum. You know what I mean? It would be. I don't like to turn down gifts, but I also don't like taking from people. If somebody's got something spare and they would like it to go towards something that's different, but I would never take money out of pity. I'd never take money out of, you know, any anything like that. Um, but I mean, if somebody actually really was like, you know what, this is spare, have that towards getting your computer sorted so it doesn't happen again. I would certainly accept it and I wouldn't waste it on anything else. I just want to make that clear. Oh, sorry, Debbie, I didn't see that you had to go. Thank you very much for joining. I'm good, Arachne King. Now I'm very good, thank you. Uh, where are you? Hi, uh, Andrew. How are you doing? Where has all the rum gone? <laughs> how are you doing, by the way? Anyway. I still need to come to your house and have a drink, my friend. That's where the rum's gone. It's not you're taking, you're accepting. That's a very good way of putting it. I'm not, I'm not, I can't, I can't argue with you there. Take expected two different things. Yeah, I would never expect anything off anybody. That's why I was so shocked. People, people just like, do you want my old tower? Do you want my old laptop? I just, what's going on? You know, it's incredible. <laughs> Truffle. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Oh, thank you for the, the 13 older vids throwing me some view hours. That's really kind of you. Thank you. Go change the world with Fatal Fangs. I would love to say I'd change the world with Fatal Fangs. Hopefully, you know, by if we can come around to do it again next year, maybe we can spice it up a little. We'll work out the kinks. You know, it might even not work out all the kinks by next year. But in time, if people like it, I think we can really make it a a, a yearly thing. Um uh, I, I think it can work. I really do. We just, it's just time. It's time to figure out the issues and make them right. T Stermy is doing fine. It molted again about a week and a half ago. Um, and yeah, it's still small, but it's doing absolutely fine. Oh, I wouldn't be the same about bug rubs. You're going to make me cry. You're going to make me cry live on camera. You talk to me like that. I do appreciate it, though. Oh, the update, Andrew, is I came home from work and magically it was working. It was still crashed when I came home. It was crashed on a system restore. And I was scared to power it off during a system restore in case I corrupted everything. But I had no choice. It had been on that since I left for work and was still on that. Um, so, yeah, I just restarted it again for the, like the 40th time. And... It just worked. So I restarted it again and it worked again. And it's working like a dream. I mean, it's not even slow at all. It's it's working exactly how it worked before. The reasons why, nobody knows. It is just magic. You know, I feel like a sim, you know, like in the Sims games. And I feel like someone was messing with me there. You know, they were just like, ha, ah, let's just, let's just, let's just give you one restless night and make you feel rubbish and then we'll make it all okay again. Uh, I was going to ask about viewing hours and how it works. Can leave your videos on. Oh, that's very kind of you. you. Don't feel you ever have to do that. It's, I'm more comfy in people wanting to watch my content, but I do appreciate you willing to do that. Um, so you need a thousand subscribers, but you also need four thousand hours viewed in a twelve-month period. Um, and I was on three thousand nine hundred and something hours viewed in a, in my twelve-month period. So you know, it's 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 getting there. I mean, I won't make much anyway. I don't get enough views to, to, to be making money as such. But, you know, every 
couple of quid here and there still goes towards feeding, goes towards maintenance, goes toward, you know, new new animals and things for, for the collection. And yeah, so I'm going to win now, says Ian. How did you feel about that, by the way, Ian? I'm sorry that I had to give it away to you early, but I didn't think I'd be able to get the edited Fatal Fangs one out on time. I only managed to pump that in this morning before work really quickly. Oh, am I back? Am I back, everyone? Let me know if I'm actually live here. Yay. Right, two seconds. Don't worry. Computer didn't die. I'm on my phone. Yeah, my, my phone battery died. <laughs> so don't panic, everyone. It was just the battery. I, I, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, what did I miss? I don't even remember what I was talking about. How is everyone, anyway? <laughs> oh, I've just scrolled back a little bit. I've noticed that uh, Patreon was mentioned there. Now, I do want to talk about Patreon, actually. So, I actually spoke to this about Ad, to, to Adam as well in private. And I, do, I wanted to put one up, but I don't want people to feel that I have placed that up there just because of Fatal Fangs or just because my subscriber count bumped a little bit. I don't want people thinking that I feel worthy of donation or subscription or money or however it works just because I did Fatal Fangs. You know, that's what that's that's the only thing stopping me setting one up is because I don't want to be... I don't want to be that guy, you know, who feels that I'm worthy now because I came up with a, a pretty cool idea people liked. You know what I mean? So I will set one up, but I'd rather kind of maybe maybe wait until it's cooled down a little bit um, after Fatal Fangs so people don't feel like I'm trying to do that. I don't know. We'll see. Good idea should be rewarded. Yeah, I appreciate that. I, I'm scared of hate. That's my problem. Like... Uh, uh, all YouTubers get haters, all YouTubers get dislikers, and I appreciate that. And to be fair, a lot of my hate is quite funny. Uh, I laugh at some of the comments I get. Um, I don't take them badly. But what I do take badly is silent judgment. You know, when you've got friends or family and you know that they're judging you for something and you can't figure out what it is and you don't want to cause upset. It's that silent judgment that I always worry about. Oh, thank you, Robert. That was really kind of you. That's how community works, do you? <laughs> oh, thank you. Hi, Lucy. Welcome back. I'm not actually going to be on this for much longer now, guys. I've actually had some messages come through on my phone. Um, but, yeah, I just, I just wanted you guys to know that I'm happy now. I can actually get some sleep tonight. I do have to do some more stuff towards video four. I'm normally getting that ready to be sent off soon. Um, but I've got a few more clips to add in. But I, I'm knackered. I'm absolutely knackered. And I think it's probably best that I leave it to after work tomorrow. Even though I don't finish till 1am, I'd much happily sit there till 6 in the morning tomorrow night than focus on anything tonight. I am mush. My brain is, is gone. Uh... Uh, you don't have to thank me. You don't have to thank me. Uh, John was not actually like personally messaged by me. John 3800. I did, however, leave it open. So when Fatal Fangs was going to come, I like I, my original idea was maybe 20 people. I didn't realise it was going to hit off like that. Um, so there were a few people I didn't intentionally miss him out i kind of left it open and some people did contact others for me some didn't get back to me um, which is fine um and others others did so i kind of just worked with the the bulk that i could get at the time it would have been nice to have him on board though um where am i oh do get some sleep i will do soon i will do soon Dream Scorpion, Tarantula, Mantis, Phasmid. Uh, you know what? My brain's too mush to tell you. Phasmid-wise, obviously, aside from the Lord Howe Island stick insect, I'd love to get a Eurocount the Herida, but a lot of people claim they've got one and they don't. Um, Herida are not in culture in the hobby. 
sadly. I actually don't know why, if I'm honest with you, because people can get hold of them easy enough. They put them in absinthe bottles and things like that. So why they're not in culture, I don't understand. But I would love to get hold of a Harida. If you don't know what they're like, type in Eurocanthus Harida. If you saw my Eurocanthus Karacha and you see the little spines on their legs, check out the Harida because that is some crazy spines right there. Absolutely crazy. Um, Ian, yeah, I was, I was, you know, it was shocked too, to be honest with you. Not, not shocked in in a negative way, but in to, to have that that approach from Petco. I think. I think with Petco, he he wanted to take part. He didn't care for winning. He's never cared for winning. He wanted to help the community as a whole. And by taking part, he would be helping the community as a whole. Um, but obviously, he you know, the voting was so close on that. And you know what? He he did what any decent community member, not any decent community member, but anyone that doesn't care for winning or doesn't need the win or whatever, he... I think he felt, you know what, you're worthy. You're worthy to go on through. And he think he wants to help support you through to the end and, and watch your content. So, uh, where are we there? Hi, I'm Elvin. How are you? Um, ben says, your videos helped me with my stick insects and got my girlfriend into inverts. Ah, brilliant. I'm glad I've been of, been of any help. If there's any more stick insect type videos you want me to do, I'll try and do that for you. I've actually downsizing the collection but bear with me, I'm downsizing it for a reason. So most of my phasmids that you have seen on my channel, except for a couple, are actually going. Um, but that is because they're cultures I've kept for years. I've had generations on generations. Um, or with one or two, it's other people really wanted to try them out. And I'm always one for giving. Always. I mean, other YouTubers I've met at shows, people I've met at shows, I've given them away. Um, because I like people to have them in, in their collections. But I want to make room for some new species, some species I've never kept before, some species that I can learn with you guys as well. Um, Hi, Sarah. Sarah Tyndall, how are you doing? Um, sorry, I'm scrolling back again a bit here now. Beginners Burrow, hey, how are you doing? I hear things not going great. Yeah, cheers, man. It's actually, for the minute, the PC's working again. No promises it will stay that way, but I'm pretty pretty hyped right now, and I, I, I'm feeling positive. I'm feeling positive that it's that it's okay. Uh, right, hang on, I'm going back here. Yeah, so everything should be back on the tables. So. Uh, Two day invert convention. I spoke about that with somebody, but I'm not sure if I can get that off. Is that in summer? I think that was in summer, isn't it? I could be wrong. I could be thinking of the wrong thing here. Ah, uh, Lucy, nobody's is bad. There is no such thing as a bad clip. We all just are here to have fun. I actually quite liked your clip, if, I can, if I'm remembering it rightly. I need to go back and have a look. Oh, exotic specimens are illegal here in the US. Yeah, I never understood why that is. I think it's to do with uh, the fact that they breed and multiply and they can do that in your climate. Whereas here in the UK, we have uh, Indians can survive in our climate. Oh, goodness me. You know what? I've forgotten some of the names here. Gone from my head. There are several that can survive in our climate, but a lot of them will just die. And I think that's why. Well, Beginners Borough, I'd love to have you come back. I'd love to. I remember you. I remember you from the very, very beginning. I was saddened when you when you had to go. I have, I have, you know, I think I know possibly why and I can understand that. But I'd love, love to have you, your content back on track there. Sorry, I'm trying to scroll down now, guys. I'm not ignoring anyone on purpose. Okay, cool. Right, I think I am going to leave it there now, guys, just because I want to sit, have a cup of tea, possibly eat something because I've had a really small amount to eat this morning and that's it today. Get some sleep ready for work tomorrow and then I'll be on the ball once I finish work because on the Tuesday I'm not working till 4pm so I can stay up till like 6 in the morning anyway. It'll be absolutely fine. So we will do it then. 
Um, if my computer breaks again, I will put it in the community tab in a post. I'm not going to do another depressing live because I really didn't want to do that yesterday, but I just, I had to get it out there. It was stressing me so much and I appreciate all the support that came from it. So, uh, well, beginners borough. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you're, you're getting better on that and I hope you can get yourself fully on track and I'd, I'd love to see you pumping out your content again. We know you're here if you know no matter what. Oh, hang on, it's disappeared. Oh, that's really kind of you. That's really, really kind of you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, right. And good night to you as well. So, good night, everybody. Thank you very, very much for everything you've done for me. Everything, even if it's just a little comment to say hi. Uh, even showing up to a live to see what the problem was means the world to me. So, I really, really thank you. I'm going to go get some sleep now. Um, and I'll, I'll re-watch the Fatal Fangs video tomorrow and uh, see what I thought. So good night, guys. Thanks again. Take care. Bye-bye.